we're at a location that I've been avoiding for months. We are at the Skinwalker Park. It stands up on its hind legs and continues. Oh my God, is that person? Is he holding a bat? There's his bat, everyone. Uh, where is he? <gasps> There's a spirit that's following us over here from over there. Can you make this light up again? <gasps> Did you hear that whistling? Yeah, I did. Oh, fuck. that's like the skinwalker thing. Oh, I said the word. I said the oh, word. You said I said word. the word. The whistling made me feel really bad. Like, I feel like it was shushing me so I could hear the whistling. What the fuck? What? Look at. Whoa. What the fuck? Because of the oil that they're pulling out over there, much they're disrupting the earth, basically. Something here is angry. Are there skinwalkers in this park? Skin. Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back to our channel. If you're new here, we're Mackie and Amanda. I'm Mackie. I'm Amanda. And, and we're, we're the Spooky Boos. We're at a location that I've been avoiding for months. Yeah, like forever, I think, actually. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I was trying to like downplay it a little bit. The story that you told me about this place just chilled me to the bone. I can't do it. I don't want to do it. And here we are. It's actually one of the scariest stories that like I've ever heard. I also feel like the fact that it's from somebody that you personally know. Like one of my closest friends. Makes it a thousand times worse. Like yes. we know that we can believe this person. That's what freaks me out the most. So this is actually attempt number two at doing this. We came out here the other night trying to do this, but some weird stuff was happening. Um... Did you ever think that maybe it was a sign? Oh. Yeah. Maybe. Maybe. So we'll just roll the footage from that night and you'll hear the story yourself. Her fingers just touched. <laughs> Recording. Okay. Literally, this is where we're coming right now because every time we drive by this park, Amanda sees someone running. And every time we pull up, we pulled up at 4.30 in the morning before and this freaking walks, why is it so So long? it's telling you to stop. That one's telling us that you can walk across the street this way. As in someone press the button. As you can see, there is literally no one out on the street in any of the directions. And it just started the second that we pulled up. Our light was green, what? turned red. That crosswalk turned on, which is what happens. Look, there it goes. Now it's, it's counting down. down. Why was the, that the freaking longest crosswalk ever? What okay. the heck? And of course the one... Oh, I unbuckled so I could stick my head out the window. You need a buckle with me driving. I drive by here all the time. It's never like that. Well, they don't I'm just your room. do it. So we were just deciding, because this is the park right here, right? Yeah, this is it. Okay, so this is where we're coming to film later. Well, tonight, in a minute. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we were deciding on, because two weird things keep happening. This one happened to your friend, and the one up here happens to us yeah. every single time we drive through this light, which is normally around, like, <laughs> 1 to 4 a.m. Yeah. So no one's pressing the button every single time and there's never anyone here a lot of times when we've come here oh my god it's doing it again a lot of times when we've come here you've seen a spirit jogging i was gonna say so that the reason that this is weird is because before the crosswalk thing ever started happening we were driving this route once and i was huh? driving and i looked over at you and i was like ah oh, there's a guy jogging right there <laughs> this is the park i've always told you was haunted and yes you didn't know it was this one no but That's the crazy. story about what your friend experienced at this park oh. is probably one of the most bone chilling stories. That's actually with the one right up here. Should we go to that one? We're gonna go to yes, the one. Let's All right, do it. drive by that one. Let's get there and we'll pick up. All right, so this is it right here. You can see out there, it's just like a huge field that basically goes on forever. It's, oh, oh it hits the curb. All this area, just like my house, is built on the Native American land because this all used to be the wetlands and then that's they built the neighborhoods and everything on top of it. My friend, probably like eight years ago now. Wait, while you started telling this story, you just went out of focus. Her, her sister, and her friend were bored at night, so they were trying to figure out what to do. Dark, dark. That's much okay. better. So one night, they were bored. It was super, super late at night, and they came over to this park because there used to be an abandoned boys and girls club right over there, and we'll show you later, but it's 
not there anymore. I came to the parking lot to sit to just figure out what to do. I think it was around 1 a.m. or something like that. They're sitting here and all of a sudden they look out in the field and they see it like a giant dog running in the field and they thought it was a coyote at first but as it was like getting closer to them they saw that it was just absolutely massive like way too big to be a coyote and all of them stopped talking at this point and they're just staring at this thing like what is that dog doing and it's sprinting directly at them faster than they've ever seen anything run in their entire lives it's huge bigger than a wolf and all of a sudden as it's probably from here to that light post up there this is how far it's from them it stands up on its hind legs it stands up on its hind legs and continues oh my god is that a person is he holding a bat Yes. Okay. Holy shit. And he's barefoot. Oh my god. What the f is he doing? And I'm also just gonna show him though. There's his bat, everyone. Um. What is he actually doing? Like, there's nothing out there. There are batting cages out there, like not batting cages, but like a baseball thing out there. But there's no lights but on. But he doesn't have a ball. No, he doesn't have a ball. He's alone. Yeah, who would throw it for him? At 11, 10 p.m. He's gonna throw it up and aim straight for our fucking car. You think so? Yeah, I do. What the hell? As I was saying, this dog got up on its hind legs and continued to sprint at them on two feet. And so when they saw that, obviously they got out of there and it was like the scariest thing that they've ever seen. My friend who told me this, she like doesn't even believe in the paranormal really, like doesn't believe in any of that stuff. She was just like, that is, it was absolutely unexplainable. Like we've never seen anything like it. When it was on its hind legs, it was like eight feet tall. She's, she described it as like, it looked like a freaking skinwalker. And the way he was walking, like he was like about to fuck some shit. No, 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 he wasn't like happily swim, like no, no, swinging no, no, with no, a bat, no. like. He looked like he was like looking for someone to whack. Yeah. Also the other day, cause um, I was gonna, trying to figure out how I could take the train up here, right? Uh-huh. Oh, someone's in the car with us. Oh my God. Wait, new subject change, okay. sorry. Okay. Hmm. Who is it? Um. I don't know, I just saw him out of the corner of my eye. But I honestly don't like him being here. Like, you need to leave. All right, go ahead. Is he gone? Yep. I know, that was weird. I wonder who was connected. To that guy we saw? Any of it. Maybe not to the guy we saw necessarily, but to any of this park or... Oh. Do you think it was connected to the guy we saw? What I do don't know. I'm like, maybe it was freaking with him. Oh, that maybe. guy felt weird. Yeah, like, he what did. Do? What do we do? What do we do? I would go left and let's regroup. Okay. Do you see who it was or was it just like a shadow out of the corner of your eye? Oh my gosh, and look, it's going oh again, bro. Oh my gosh. Bro. This is what we mean. What the heck? And again, no one is here. Every single light is red. It's weird because there's been like a lot of other times where all of a sudden like someone will be in the car with us. That, nah, but I'm not. Uh, is. I'm so sorry. You need to leave. Oh my god, Amanda. You need to leave. Like, get out of the car right now. now. You're not welcome to go any farther with us. You're not welcome to come back and be with us at any point. They're out. Out. I did. I felt it leave. Like, when you started saying that, I, I watched it leave. So heavy. Oh my god, my whole face flushed. My whole face is like burning. My heart's. Literally pounding so hard right now. Sorry. I'm kidding. But it's totally gone. It's totally gone. I felt it leave. Like I literally felt it leave. That was insane. I felt to get light. Oh my god. Like I've never felt something like that. was like heavy, wasn't it? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, super, that's why super that's why heavy. I said hey, I'm so sorry and like just like I had to tell. That was insane. Was that one of the craziest things you've ever experienced? So that just goes to show you, Mackie, that like you have the authority bro uh -huh. you just told it to leave though and like as bad as that made you feel 
it left immediately. It I didn't know, leave did. the first time, yeah, and I said yeah, it I again, and you said it, yeah, and it left. Yeah. Like, no one will ever understand what that feels like. Like, what it felt like when it left. Wasn't that so intense? Yeah, because what I was getting ready to say was, like, you said before, like, someone's in the car, and I'm like, oh, like, who's here? Then when you said that, it felt, like, terrible. And really? Like, so even you knew? Yeah, when, when you said, like, someone's here, like, I was not, like, it didn't feel good. The first time you told her to leave, it didn't feel like it was completely gone to you? It felt like it was... Yeah, it felt like it was listening and that it was gone. The first time you said it was gone, like, I still had, like, that yeah. scared feeling. You like, still knew. a little bit. Yeah, you still knew. I was, it was just, like, freaked out. But then that that second time when we both said, like, when you, like, yelled at it to leave, like, then it really felt like it was yeah. gone. But let's try again. <laughs> so we'll try pick, again and go back there not, again. Not right now, not okay, right now. But like, let's clear. let's definitely try again, and we'll just have to pick back up. So okay, okay. I'm be completely honest with you. I've noticed the majority of the time, like when the heat temperature happens, like you're the one holding it. Really? Do you think? Like I don't know what that means. I don't think it's because you have like hot hands or like you're like no feel my it. hands my hands are always freezing but yours yeah. are definitely not hot but like i've been like keeping tabs on it and, like the majority of the time like when we're in haunted places and it happens it's like when you're holding it do you think that i'm holding it wrong and making no, it overheat no i think it's something like spiritual oh i get really hot when i'm working when i'm connecting Cause I'm like, I don't know if they're like using you as some sort of like conduit or like some, yeah. like an energy source or like, or something. But the majority of the time, almost like a hundred percent of the time, if you look back in the videos, you're always the one who's holding the camera. Heat temperature warning. No, I like know that. Like without you even like having to look back, like you're totally right. And I'm like, I've been trying to figure out like why <laughs> there's the cat again. I see it. <laughs> Right, yes, well, that person's out. backing out. We have a witness. Yes, we do. All right, so that's what happened the other night. That was terrifying. That's the story. Terrifying. And now here we are at dusk. I don't know a lot about skin. Can I say that? Oh, yeah. Apparently, you're not supposed to say their names, like, especially at night or something. Especially at night. Just, just the two of us. Okay. Oh. I don't really know much about walkers yeah but i'm wondering and i'm curious if any of our devices will pick them up or if there are any spirits here who have answers and know something about it i don't know i'm trying to be vocal here and <sighs> there's wetlands like around here that we've been to and explored yeah. where i felt really negative energies uh -huh. and then those wetlands the blood not the uh, bolsa chica wetlands Bols i felt so good at so it makes me wonder like Maybe this is one of those places. Yeah, I mean, all the times I've been here, it feels like kind of heavy, but I don't know. There used to be an old school here, and it actually burnt down. Mm -hmm. So it's super gnarly. It's right back in the corner. They actually built something else on top of it and reopened it. <laughs> so that's like another factor of it. And we're also across the street from the high school, which is really haunted also. Like people say they'll be driving by at night and they see lights dancing in the fields. Yeah, that's not, I've seen that. You'll see when you get out there, but it just feels different. All right, well, I say we head out there before it gets even later. I agree. All right, let's go. You know I'm recording, right? <laughs> this park's much bigger now that I'm out here. Yeah, I know. What's all this construction going on? This is the, where the school was that uh, burnt down. To me, that corner over there has always been weird, too. All right, this is where it was. They rebuilt this over there. What is that now? I don't even know. Some kind of government building. Right? Super weird. So this is the area from back here where it was running at them. Are you kidding? No, I'm not kidding. Are you taking a straight there? 
I don't know where else to go. I'm afraid. I'm afraid. <laughs> Where are you? Yeah, this is like totally out of my realm. I know. Knowledge. I know. Any of it. I mean, <sighs> when, I, we, when I went to Arizona, at, to that ghost town, yeah. we got the opportunity to work with some Native American tribes out there, and they were so, so knowledgeable about really? like everything in the spirit realm and beyond. Like things that I had heard of, and like the thing that was running at your friend. Yeah. Like, Entities like that, like they had physical swords that sh they showed me that had marks on them where they what said the that they would fuck? go to battle with spirits. It was just so, so insane. It just makes me believe in that more and more. Yeah. Like, it's a part of their culture, like ingrained. That's actually crazy. Just the f physical swords. Yeah, with the, like physical marks on them. And, That's like you couldn't touch the blades because there is poison on them. It's definitely warmer over here. I know, I know that I'm like going over here because it's so much warmer. I was gonna suggest when we were in the middle of the field looking over there that we come over to the baseball fields. And How I didn't even weird. open my mouth to say it because you just were walking us over here. But I thought that there was like high energy and then I didn't even want to say it out loud because of what you said about this is where your friends experience. Yeah, that. yeah. Oh I don't know, where do you feel? Out on the I wish we could get out here. Oh we can, onto the field? Yes. Yeah, it should be open. That's where I think it's like gnarly. Okay, okay. It's like over there. This um, is like the OG days, though. No, I'm afraid it is. <laughs> Let us know if you guys like it down in the comments below. We should do more stuff like this. I definitely like it. I keep thinking about that school, one of the first schools that we went to. I do too. That's like right over there. I know. Because remember, we like ran out of there. I know, we did. That was crazy. I will so like crazy. never forget that place. Over here. How do you feel? Well, this park is always freaked me out. Like, really? always. Especially at night. There's just a really weird vibe. I feel really weird here. Right here? Yeah. Should we up here? Maybe a little further, I'm sorry. I'll like stop and then I'll feel another place. Really? Do you know what I mean? So you're like feeling stuff here? It's almost like, oh my gosh, you know what it kind of what? reminds me of? It almost feels like little hot spots. Oh, how weird. Where I get to one and then I find another one. You know what I'm curious? We should bring out like the EMF reader or something uh -huh. like that and see if where I feel it, it spikes. Yeah, it, wouldn't that be crazy? It. Okay. Okay, it's calibrating bow. Can we walk over to home plate? Home plate. Oh. I'm it just spiked. I'm gonna turn this off because you can't really see it too well. Okay. Look, it's spiking. It's spiking. <gasps> so I'm right. I, mean, I walked yeah. us to another hot spot and look, there's nothing around. There's nothing. Can we step out of this and see if it still goes? Yeah. Okay, wait, maybe just stay here for another minute. Oh, oh. <laughs> maybe just stay here for another minute. I don't know, it's gonna keep going. Oh, I thought you were saying to move it to see if it's just in the spot. No, I did. Oh. Okay, so, so it is working. Oh, yeah, it's working for sure. <laughs> Bro! I know, that's why I'm putting it over here to show that it's literally. It's not like it's everywhere, is what I'm saying. Let's take some steps and see if it... Can we go back to where I was and see if it spikes? Yeah, yeah. Bro, I'm freaking out over this. That? It was over oh, here, but I kind of... As you walk oh. it through where I was, oh, it... What the hell? Up to... <sighs> That's crazy. What it's the like hell? the first place that it stops. I know. Do you hear that? Yes. Is that a screech? <gasps> what is that? It's like a screech. It was three of them. Yeah. I know a lot of people are always like, oh, when this is going out off like out doors, that was probably like electrical, something like near it. But if there was like electrical wiring anywhere right here, I feel like it'd be s still going off. And there's no lights out here. There's, we're in the middle of a field. It's not even going off here anymore, Amanda. Wait, we were a little further. I can still get us there. It was right over here. Is it even turned on anymore? Yeah, it's on. <gasps> oh, there it goes. So it is spiking back over here in the hot spot too. Not as much as it was, but definitely spiking. So that's just proof, like this, uh, the equipment. Yeah. Uh. Look, look what it's doing now. No, the equipment just proves what we're feeling, yeah. you know? And the temperature is going up and down. Oh my gosh. Yeah, oh, 65, yeah. 67, Can you make it 65. go to red? Can you make it go to the red dot? Put more energy into it. You can take energy from our light. You can take energy from this light. We'll give you 15 seconds to make that go all the way up to red. Down. 
You turned it down and it's slowing down. Oh, Should I try to turn it up? Yeah, try to turn it up. Okay, it's turned it up. Turn it all the way up now. Can you make it spike to oh, that, that got really close. It's going close. up now. It is. Can you make it spike to red? All the way over here. Just put it's more energy trying. into it. It is. It's holding on yellow for a lot longer for sure. This is actually crazy. Footsteps over there. Literally the only ones here right now. Can you hear that thing? Yeah, I was gonna say there are people in the cages over there, but there's no cages or oh yeah, there's not even cages. Look. I was just gonna ask. Nothing? Nothing. It's not spiking As we leave the fields. Yeah, not at all. Hey, if there's a spirit that's following us over here from over there, can you make this light up again? <gasps> oh my gosh. Okay, I'm gonna see what's the light. Okay, I'm turning this down because you cannot okay. see it at all. All right, let's try that again. If there's a spirit following us from it over there. It just spiked to yellow really or is? orange, yes. Okay, can you make this spike again? Oh, there it goes. Can you make it spike again? Up to yellow or orange. Just one more time. Three. Two, Two, one, one. go. Weird. <laughs> it did it both times though. Are you seeing anyone or just feeling that? Just energy? feeling. Which kind of makes me even more scared because like I said, the thing that was involved in the story of your friend here is not something that I'm well versed in or something that like, I've ever seen yeah. before. Unless that bunny was one. <laughs> it's, not, it's not something that I know about. So I feel like I wouldn't see things. Like I would just be feeling them. Ooh, it's spiking hard. Oh my God. That's why I thought the equipment would be so useful was yeah. to like validate what I was feeling because I didn't think that I was going to see a lot here. Oh, I felt something turned around. Spike. I orange. saw it. I saw <laughs> it. I saw it. Do you think there was something following us and then you like felt it and turned around and that's why it spiked and it walked off? Yeah, I do. Where'd you go? Did you hear this? Yeah, I did. Like the floor, like right, here. right here. Where is he? Just saw something for the first time right here. Are you serious? Yeah, right over here. <laughs> that was crazy. That was Restarting. So close. Oh my god, we started out with 100% battery. Been out here for 20 minutes. Oh, it's because I said oh my god. I scared myself. <laughs> Been out here for 20 minutes. We're down to 64% battery. What do you think? I'm just getting comfortable and like trying to pick anything up. Okay. Someone here, like an actual someone. Really? I'm gonna write it down. I'm gonna write everything down that I'm getting. Okay. What are you writing? Oh, I guess I'll just let you write it actually. <laughs> what you doing? What's that knocking noise? Do you hear it? I don't know. I keep hearing someone say shh. Really? Yeah. Really? Yeah. 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 Almost like they're trying to warn me. Warn but you? Like, but like, I feel like they're also like not being truthful. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like something trying to act like they're on your side. Yeah. Oh, do you hear that? Yeah, you can write down. You can uh, look at what I'm writing if you want. Robin. What's the name of this person here? Did you hear that whistling? Yeah, I did. Oh, fuck. that's like the skinwalker thing. Oh, I said the word. I said the oh, word. You said the I said word. the word. I was just whistling like two two minutes ago. That's you're not supposed to whistle at night. Oh, I forgot about that. 
I have to leave. <laughs> no, come back, wait. I have to leave. No, 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 you don't. I have to leave. No, you don't. I have to leave. Bo, stop. You whistled. Bo, Bo, come back. back. Wait, no, come back. Come back. You whistled. Wait. Did you hear that whistle? Yeah. Bro, it's like surrounding us now. Wait, are you serious yeah, though? I'm serious, I'm serious. Let's go to the car for a second and let me regroup. Wait, really? Yeah. Why, what are you feeling? Um, okay, I'm feeling better the further I walk away from there. Because at first I thought you were joking, like... No, 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 not at all. Like, you're actually I'm serious. Like 100 because that's serious. joking, like... No, 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 not at all. No, 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 not at all. No, 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 not at all. But like, I like, oh yeah, I'm 100% serious. <laughs> oh yeah. Like, still? Still. Like, as in, like, you're still feeling weird as you're walking away? Yeah, like, less and less so. But like, I feel like the more I panic, the more... Like, I just need to calm down and... I'll yeah. Good. Like, what happened? The whistling made me feel really bad. Really? Along with the shh. Like I feel like it was shushing me so I could hear the whistling. Oh God. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So it was those two things on top of each other. Oh. oh Did you hear that? Yeah, the crunch? Yeah, and also it's like, Argh. Oh, fuck. Okay. See? Yeah, that I fucking- What is that? Okay, how do you feel about that corner over there though? How did you feel? Creeped out still? Just like, well, just like the corner where the fence and wall meet. Yeah. Right there. I, right there. I yeah. really weird. What is that? Trash can? I don't know. Every time I've ever come here, that's like the exact area I've just felt really, really weird in. It's not really weird that time. Yeah. Like, yeah. Really yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah, really that's like the one spot out of everywhere I've been wanting to like know about. I heard that. I don't know. What is that? It keeps going like <sighs> see, see how warm this corner is? It's so warm. So warm. Oh my gosh. What? It's spiking, it just <gasps> was spiking to yellow. Like it's so warm. It's doing it again, bro. What the fuck? Turn the light off. Okay. I see it. I can you see it with the light on. Can you spike it up a little more? Put more energy into it. I can feel my hair like. <sighs> That's crazy. Here, right. wait. Try put. Just try holding it next to this real quick. Just. Okay, so it's not. It's not a so it's not coming control. from that. Why is this so? It's like hot right here. It's warm. I wonder if we would have left that there for a little bit, but the temperature would have read out. I was wondering the same oh. thing. Fuck. What? I was thinking that was an animal, but that, that's like a brick wall. Yeah. Did you hear it? Yeah. This is spiking more and more. Are you serious? Okay, like up to almost red. Look. Oh my god. Oh my god. Holy shit. No, it just stopped. I was just saying, now it's it done. just stopped. Oh, here it comes again. Still not by any lights, by the way. Nope, not. How do you feel now? Still not good. <laughs> really? All right, let's get in the car and talk about it. <laughs> you broke like the two cardinal <laughs> rules tonight. I know. I, I'm sorry. <laughs> Recap. Oh, yeah, what happened? I felt bad enough getting out of the car and going into that field at night. Yeah. I have for a year now. Yeah. You not only said the word, <laughs> you whistled. I, know. I didn't realize I even did it until you said you heard a whistle and I realized I was just whistling. For those of you guys who don't know, whistling at night is basically forbidden in every single culture and every single religion because it says that it summons, well, take your pick, like from any culture, the negative thing from that culture. Yeah. Any? Especially like walkers. Like, that's the number one thing that, like, summons them. Can you did I know. It. I didn't mean to. Like... The weird thing for me is that I wrote down, shh, and I felt like it was somebody that was, like, like, I almost felt like I'm being tricked. Like, I'm really on guard here. And I was, like, I feel like it's someone trying to warn me, but I still feel like they're messing with my head because I didn't want to trust whatever it was. And then when I stopped and really did, like, shh, I heard the whistling twice. 
And I brought it up, she was gonna be like, I was just whistling. But so like, what were you picking up when you were sitting there, when you're writing stuff down? Like, what were you feeling? Did you feel like one specific spirit or just like? I, I still felt those like multiple energy, like high energy spots. I just like totally felt something vibrate, but my phone's in my pocket and it didn't vibrate. I still felt those like high energy spots for sure. But when I was sitting down and we were sitting in the middle of there, I started kind of connecting with uh, a woman came through. Her name was Robin. And that was pretty much all I picked up before somebody else came through and went or something and went shh. And it felt negative? It felt definitely negative. Not the thing that went shh, but whatever was like around us. And then the fact that the whistling came from my fingers are like hot now. Really? Yeah. I don't know. Mine are freezing. They feel oh my hot. gosh, they are. They're like burning. Really? Yeah. They like. Mine are like frozen. So that's actually really weird that they're hot because mine are still frozen just from being in the cold air. Well, mine were a second ago, but like they still feel kind of cold, like on the inside, but the outside, this sounds so weird. The outside literally feels like it's burning. They're almost like red. Maybe I'm just panicking. No, they are. No, they are red. I don't know. I've never felt anything like that before. It felt really weird. That was out here? Like, I just felt, like, scared. Okay, this is weird. I didn't feel, like, a specific presence there. I felt afraid. That's weird. More like fight or flight kicked in, you know? Yeah. Did you hear that? I did. Maybe we should do a spirit box session in the car. I yeah. mean, we have things come into the car all the time, and... Your friends were actually in the car when they saw this. Yeah, thing, that's so. true. I was so afraid that one that was facing just didn't. What the fuck? What? What? Look at. Whoa. What the fuck? Those literally look like finger. Like someone went like this. Y yeah. I don't even want to do yeah. it on my side. But we have had the defroster on for forever. It's only on this side. Hear my eyes out there, Bo, because I can't see anything with that. No. Can't see anything at all. Are you serious? No, I'm dead serious. Hello? That sounds so weird. I know. It's kind of what it sounded like the night it showed up at my house. Oh, really? Yeah, where it was distorted. Like, that's exactly how I... Rick? What? Rick's... Hello? It's like it mimicked you. I thought I was being nice. My name's Mackie. My name's Amanda. Can you tell us what your name is? Do you feel anyone here? Yeah, I do. What's your name? What was that? It sounded like a different language. Yeah. Almost. Can you repeat that? Something's here with us. In the car? Yeah. Is it behind me? It's behind both of us, but yeah. Perfect. Is it staying in the seat behind me? Why? Do you see it? No. As I turned my head, it looked like I saw like a shadow like right behind me. Is it heavy? Yeah, it's definitely heavy. What's your name? Hi. Come with me. What do people call you? I just got, like, literally as it said, it, like, I got goosebumps. Play with me. I heard. Play, play, play you play. It's not, is it the one from the other night or no? I don't know. I don't, I don't know. Do we know you? Do we know you? It looks like there's so much movement out there where those see those lights are in the distance. Yeah. Just watch over there. It looks like weird stuff is going on over there. Do you see that? Yeah. It looks like something super tall. Doesn't it? Wait, wait, wait. No, I need to video this. Do you see it? It looks like something super tall over there. Hold on, Amanda. Just wait.
watch right there. I don't know if you can even see it on the camera, but in person it looks like something super tall and like deformed walking around out there. It doesn't look like it's looking at us though. No. Oh my god. It's just like wa like swaying around. Do you see what I'm seeing? I don't see it anymore. I, I don't see it right now either. All of a sudden it like swing out. That's yeah. It's like literally blocking that light. Oh, that's... You? Yeah, I don't know what just fell. That? Your knife? What the f***? Do you we're, understand? Is the thing still in here with us? Yeah, that's why our little windows are fogging up. That's why the windows are fogging up? Why is it still only on my side? It doesn't feel as bad. Yeah. Definitely. Mackie. Said yeah, definitely too. What is, what is that? that? This is a spear box. What is that out there in the field? What are we seeing in the field? Over there. That's what a... Is that? Yeah. Yeah. It's like nobody, none of the spirits here know what it is. None of the spirits here know what it is. I wonder if that's what it is. If none of the spirits here know what that is. Yes. Am I right? Do none of you guys know what that is out there? Yes. No. Yeah. Are you Native American? Alright. Okay. Right. Whatever's here needs to leave. Yeah, shut it off. Shut it off? Mm -hmm. Eight seconds? I got that too. Well, it's getting so hot in here. I know. What's eight seconds? I don't know. Is it still in the car? Yeah. I think this is a really weird park. But there's something off here, for sure. You know how in Sedona they talk about how there's like some places that are just high energy? Yeah. I've always said that I thought because of the oil that they're pulling out over there and like how, they're, how much they're disrupting the earth basically. Mm-hmm and nature in general yeah. that something here is angry. And I feel like this park is a perfect example of that. I have one more question I wanna ask then we can leave. Okay. You might not like it. Is there still something in here with us? It feels like a lot lighter, yeah. but it feels like if you turned that on, it would come back, so. Put the car in drive. Okay. We have a couple more questions for you. Are you ready? Okay. Oh, sorry. Are there any spirits still here with us right now? Yes. Oh. Are there skinwalkers in this park? I heard, yeah, I some. Heard yes. Skin! Can, can that, look, that one said it, that one said it. Yeah. Skin. The night my friend was here and saw something running in the field, was that a skinwalker? Look how much the wind is picked up. I know. It's starting to feel really weird too. He feels like we're almost vibrating, like a car. Yes or no, did my friend see a skinwalker in this park? What did her friend see out here? And then light. And then light. Why is this park haunted? So for some reason, our camera completely what stopped did it recording. Say about the SIM card? What? Did you see that there was a message on the front? Of the yeah, it said slot one was full, but there's two cards in here, so it transferred over to the next card. So there's no reason why 
it should have just like yeah luckily we only went for a couple more minutes after it cut off but we just didn't get any answers i was asking you like how you were feeling if you still felt like something was in here and you were concerned that with your drive home that so they would come find you. I, this is like Native American land, so I don't think, like, why would they all of a sudden decide to come with you when this they've been here for so long? Because you said the S word so many times in my car. Yeah. Well, I guess we'll go back to the, the park up here another time because that was a lot especially after the thing was in the car and everything yeah i'm done i can't believe that your high school over here we were talking about that the high school is also some of the most yeah haunted then the abandoned school we went to that we literally ran out of is in that neighborhood over here so it's like there's something weird with this entire area well, that's and where look the drilling is. It's right over there. yeah they have this whole weird fence up and no one knows what's going on behind it all you can really this see. There's a guard tower. There's a guard tower. Yeah, right in yes, the yes. See, it's weird. And there's a huge, giant white tent in there. Then this is the park where the spirit's always walking. And then it backs to the wetlands. Wetland starts literally right here. Well, we just got home. But we hope you guys enjoyed this little OG video. It definitely felt like a throwback, it didn't did. it? It really did. But oh. we've been talking about going here for like a year. So I'm glad we finally did it. Well, that makes one of us. Yeah. But if you guys are glad we finally did it, you know the drill. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. It makes a big difference for us. And other than that, we'll catch you on the next one. Peace. Peace.